What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we have for you some strength and power exercises for tennis. So we do quite a bit of tennis training. Um, so here are nine exercises that we love to do to develop power and to develop some strength. So hopefully you enjoy this. If you do, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. We post new videos every Tuesdays and Thursdays. So make sure you're subscribed to catch all of them. Hope you enjoy. All right, no particular order. We are starting with a landmine pull push. So I really like this exercise in general, but especially for um, sports with a lot of rotation. I love this one because it trains rotation and anti-rotation and it's full body. So you're gonna grab a landmine. I like to start low key side on, but like also not fully side on. So I'm kind of in this angle, 45 degrees. You load it here. So you can see that internal rotation of my hip. This is something super important for tennis, that internal rotation to develop power. So you're gonna be here, you're gonna drive it up, twist, and drive. So I'm here, dip, twist, drive. So you can see the rotation that I'm having to develop or that's stabilizing my body. And then at the top, that anti-rotation so that I'm not over-rotating and falling great for the shoulders as well. Number two, we are sticking with the landmine. We're going what we call a landmine half rainbow. So it's a little similar to the first one we did, the pull push, in the sense that we're still working on rotation, anti-rotation, it's full body, and we got a lot of hip internal rotation involved. So like I said before, getting that hip involved is really important right here. It's gonna help generate power. It helps rotation. A lot of high level athletes have that ability to internally rotate through the hip. So we're gonna take the landmine. We're gonna start to the side. All right, you can see my right hip in this, um, in this demo is going to be internally rotated to help generate power. So from here, I drive and I bring it up. I reset just like this, all right. So I'm using a lot of core strength, a lot of my hips to get this. I'm pivoting my feet and obviously a lot of upper body as well. I love this one. It's great for the shoulders, just like the first one we did. Great for the rotator cuff, being able to stabilize at the top to produce that power coming this way for this shoulder in this sense, this way opening up. So right here is just a great exercise to be in full body control. I am just on a roll with rotational, anti-rotation, and internal hip rotation, because this next one hits all those things again. We're going a front on alternating med ball scoop toss. So we're gonna be facing the wall. We're gonna start in this position. Okay, it's actually pretty much identical to the landmine, except this time you can release the object. So you hear me talk about how important it is to release an object for power because you get the full range of motion. Anytime we're holding something like a dumbbell, a landmine, something we don't want to let go of, at the top, we have to slow it down a little bit or else our shoulders will like out of the socket, right? So when we use a med ball, it's great because we can actually release it so we can go the entire full range as hard as we can. So we're gonna start here. We're gonna slam it. Just like that. So we're using a lot of core hips as well. We get to release that um, into the into the wall. Alrighty, number four. This one's gonna be more strength, but we're gonna get a little bit of explosion into it. We're going a landmine curtsy into a knee drive. So um, a landmine curtsy, we're gonna be here. I like to lean in a little bit. You're gonna stretch behind, lower down, and come back up. But the thing with this one is we're going a knee drive at the top. So this leg is gonna reach back here, and then it's gonna drive up. So out of this, Boom, I'm pushing myself as hard as I can, propelling on the way up. So I love it for the strength. I love it working in the frontal plane, super important for side to side. Um, and then on the way up, having to drive out of this position, sometimes we have to get low, having that stability to drive the knee up, lots of core involvement as well with this. So this one's an awesome one for tennis. Number five, you guys know, we cannot have a video without Nordics. So, this is amazing for posterior chain development, for the glutes, hamstrings, calves, back of the knee. Um, I think every single athlete needs to be really good at doing these because it is just a true show of how good your posterior chain is. And at the end of the day, that is gonna help reduce a lot of injuries. That's gonna help with our power, our explosion, um, that hip hinge, right? That power through the hip hinge. 
So there's so many different things we can do with Nordics, right? If we wanna go a slow eccentric, if we wanna go banded for reps, if you can just hit full reps, if you wanna hit an ISO, um, you know, even if you have someone like holding your feet down, if you don't have a machine, if you have a glute, ham, a glute hamstring bridge machine instead, honestly, anything that's just putting your body in this position where your hamstrings, your calves, where they all have to work together to hold you to anchor in, ooh, hamstring cramp, um, that's really gonna help build up your power capabilities, right? So for example, I'll do like an eccentric you go down as slowly as you can. You can see everything in the posterior chain is just firing up, especially the calves. And this one's really great to work, as I mentioned, the back of the knee. A lot of, um, a lot of muscles connect right through the back of the knee. Ligaments and stuff are all back there. So we have to make sure that's strong as well. We don't want any weak points, especially for that middle joint. Next up, we're going pendulum lunges. So I love this exercise because it works on two things, deceleration and acceleration. So you can either go a front load or a back load. Um, honestly, you can also do dumbbells as well with it, but we're gonna be here. We're gonna show you back load to start, okay? So pendulum lunge, we're gonna go reverse lunge into a forward lunge. So as you can see, the uh, reverse lunge is gonna be working that acceleration because I'm having to push out of that position. Front or a forward lunge, that's gonna be working deceleration. So deceleration is very important for changing directions, um, especially you know, going from forward to back, even side to side. A lot of that is how well you can decelerate, how much load you can handle here. As I'm coming this way, boom, being able to stop on a dime before you jump, deceleration, that's all it is. So, Hitting something like this kills two birds with one stone. If you're trying to just build pure strength, right, we might wanna break this up. But I think this is a really underrated exercise that you know you get you get a lot for it when you do it. So I showed you the back loaded. If we go front loaded, right, we're gonna be here. I have to be careful because I'm a mic. And one great reason to do front loaded is it's a lot of trunk control. So as I come back, my trunk has to be upright as I'm here, upright. So it forces, like I keep saying, that upright torso, a lot of trunk control. So just different variations we can do. They both elicit great adaptations. Um, so figure out what works for you. As I mentioned at the start, you can also do dumbbell, but hitting some for that acceleration and that decel is awesome. Next up, we have trap bar. So you've seen us do a lot with the trap bar. Um, whether we're working on power or impulse training, just that ability to move load fast um, or to build some strength. So today we are keeping it super simple and we are just going a bilateral trap bar. The reason we're doing this is we want to build absolute strength. And this is one of the best ways, in my opinion, to build bilateral um, absolute strength. So we got our trap bar, right? You wanna set up just Normally, like we've talked about before, good position, get your butt down, your hips down, right? Big chest, I don't wanna be here. I'm already kind of pulling on that bar a little bit. I'm just driving through the floor, standing up, control on the way down. So if you're looking to just build absolute strength, which is crucial for athletes, this is one of my favorites, especially if we're looking at tennis, right? I wanna be careful about loading the spine too much. So with like a barbell, for example, I am not a huge fan of going heavy on back squats. Um, and also with tennis, you have to be careful. A lot of times putting your arms in this position to hold that bar, especially if someone has like some shoulder injuries that hurts, right? You can obviously do a safety bar where it has, you know, comes out here, so you're holding it here. I find that trap bar is a really safe option, especially for a, a very technical sport like tennis. Number eight, we're going a sled explosive press. So as you can see, we got some, whoo, that almost hit me in the face. We got some resistance bands wrapped around the, uh, the sled. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be in this tall kneel and we're gonna keep our core tight. We're gonna lean in, get a little bit of a hip hinge, okay? And all we're gonna do is just press as hard as we can, right like this. So I'm here, boom, it'll come back. So this is a super awesome exercise for a couple reasons. Similar to what we were talking about with the med ball, you can produce that power all the way through, right? You release it at the top. Also too, it's a little bit heavier of a load. So when we're doing our impulse training, right, that 
moving load fast. It helps with that. Also too, I like the tall kneel. It uh, requires a lot of core involvement and we do have to get that hip extension. We can do this, um, you know, in like a, a standing position and a split stance as well. I just really like this tall kneeling option. Finally, last exercise, we get Spencer involved. We're going, <laughs> hello, we're going a single arm landmine toss. You've seen us do this one before. I love this exercise. Um, so it's pretty much like a landmine press, but we're uh, tossing it. So you actually get to release that load like we just talked about the benefits of it. So you can go square, you can go split. I do like to use my legs a little bit for this one. So we do work on that full body, that hip hinge. So we're gonna be here. You're gonna toss it up as big as you can. One thing with this is you don't need to go crazy heavy, um, especially if you want it to be more explosive. You don't want it to be super heavy. Uh, make sure you have someone to catch the bar for you or else you would be running some risks. But at the end of the day, when it comes to tennis strength and power exercises, Number one, we just wanna be safe, especially for a sport like tennis where it's very uh, technical, right? We don't wanna do anything that's gonna run the risk of, of injuring our tennis athletes, yourself, if you're, if you're the athlete. So number one, you wanna be safe. We wanna get the biggest bang for your buck, right? We wanna build strength. We wanna be smart, we wanna be safe. We also wanna produce power really efficiently. I like these full body exercises. I like doing things that include rotation and anti-rotation. So hopefully this gives you some exercises to work with. If you enjoy this, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and we will catch you later. <laughs> See ya. See ya.